This video may not apply to you unless you've worked with Dan Shoggers, How to Kill the Ball Method or 21st Century Golf Swing. However, because I was able to spend a lot of time with Dan when he graciously took me under his wing when I first decided to pursue a golf career, I get a lot of questions asking for more clarification and insight and an insight into Dan's spin the meatball concept. So to help those of you that are asking about this concept, here's how I understand it. It's basically an, al an analogy to describe the action of the rear hand in the golf swing. In today's conventional swing, the club is rolled open such that if you were to take your rear hand off the club at this point, you'd be in a position to shake someone's hand. The swing then continues on up to the top and the wrist cock upward, comes back down, uncocks and rolls back to re-squared impact, continues to roll over to the handshake position on the other side, and then recocks upward again to on into the finish. This hand action can produce a lot of power and it is indeed used and taught by most professionals in golf today. However, I find it terribly hard to time correctly unless you've been doing it for a long time or hitting lots of balls. This hand action is in fact why I believe to be the reason why Tiger is so relatively inaccurate with his driver. His club face is only perpendicular to his swing path for a split second through impact. If his timing is off by just a fraction, he's missing the fairway. What Dan teaches is somewhat of an opposite hand action. Rather than rolling the hands open to the handshake position, Dan rotates the hands the opposite way, a counter rotation per se. The hands come back 45 degrees and then rotates roughly a quarter turn or whatever your flexibility allows you to do. Essentially, what this does is it puts you in the, uh, a position at the top of the backswing where, if he could, where you could hold a plate of meatballs in your hand. The spin the meatballs move describes the initial stimulus of the downswing. It's simply an unwinding of that approximate quarter turn that you made in the backswing. I think a lot of people that ask me about it are overdoing this move. It's just enough of a turn that would basically get the plate of uh, meatball spinning. After that, the rear hand then throws the meatballs into your mouth. This part describes the action of the right hand in the remainder of the swing. So we've got the spin the meatballs move and then the throw them into your mouth move. Essentially what you'll find is that this hand action keeps the blade perpendicular or square to the swing path through impact longer than the conventional roll. It was one of the things that early in my career when I was working with Dan really helped straighten out my ball flight and improve my accuracy. I hope this gives you a little bit further clarification of the spin the meatballs analogy.